They've, um, they've got the ability to play good rugby in Gloucester and, and we, we know that, we've, we've seen them play, we saw them play at the weekend and, and they, get, they had a good win. Um, but we've seen it early on in the season when, you know, particularly we went down there, na narrow game, or everything talked about the last few minutes, but um, it was close because they played well as well and, and got in the lead by, by playing some good rugby. So pitches are hardening up, hopefully um, the pitch will be good, good condition uh, on, on Saturday. Um, there'll be a Gloucester team who are coming up here wanting to throw the ball around, wanting to play some rugby, um, so it's going to be a good game. Are you surprised where they sit in the league considering how well they did play against you in that game? Um, uh, yes and no. Um, I think they've, they've shown at times that they can be an outstanding team, but others have shown that they have got some limitations and, um, and it's up to us this weekend to try to find those limitations and their weaknesses. Obviously, since then, though, you, you haven't lost a league game. I mean, that, that must be pretty pleasing. What do you put that journey down to from, from then? Um, I put it down to a talented squad who are working really, really hard on the game. And uh, squad, I mean squad. I think it, it's, it's fantastic that, that some players have stepped up, particularly with the international players being away. Um, it's down to you know the coaches putting in a good shift, changing the emphasis on what we do, um, changing things in, in terms of our attack and our defence, but also getting our basics right, um, and a real good team spirit, because um, that, that's what you need. With Saints having the best defence and the best attacking record in the Premiership this year, which one gives you more pride to have? I think defence. <laughs> Me, personally, I think defence. You know, because offence will take care of itself. I think defence, because our boys is doing really well. <laughs> but obviously you've got nine tries yourself this season, so I mean, that must be, must be quite nice for you to, to have that as well, eh? Well, it's, you know, it's nine lucky ones, so... <laughs> just, like I said, uh, just being at the right place at the right time. But uh, it, that comes from, you know, graph from all the boys. Come, uh, that comes from hard work from the pack and, and, and the back, so... You know, I'll take those nine tries though. So that's why we saw you enjoyed the one at uh, Exeter quite a lot because there were some travelling fans down there that day, weren't there? And that was, a, was quite a nice moment when you sort of uh, put your hand up to the crowd. Yeah, yeah, because when I heard him, I was like, is that saying my name? Or? I was like, hey, brother, you singing for I was like, all right, give him a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, that's, I had to think twice because the boys didn't even leave. They were like, I think he stepped out. And I was like, did I step out? I just want to score that, but uh, that, was a good, that was a good try next to it. Are the other boys jealous now that you've got your own chant and most of them haven't? <laughs> I don't know. He spoke to George Peter and he said not to say to you about your try scoring record because you, you get too big headed, that's what he said. <laughs> Is that, gee, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think he's trying to catch me, so let's see if he can. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice thing to have those. And I suppose you don't pay so much such stuff. It's a nice thing to have the fans sort of show you how much affection they've got for you yourself with that chart. Yeah, yeah. When well, the first time I heard it, I started tripping out, and uh, the boys are like, "Oh, you're like another Mooj. We got a song for you now." So, uh, but I appreciate it, and, and uh, it gives me a boost uh, during the games, and you know, just to hear people chanting, "Got a song for you." And, you know, you gotta respect it and respect people that's uh, singing it for you. So it's good. It's a good song too. So.